Shalom. This is part two of I Want to Know the Truth, Do You? Hi, my name is Robert Lee Williams, founder of Prophetic Information Ministries, where we blow the trumpet, the shofar, around the world, informing you with prophetic news and bringing God's miracle ministry to the world. Right now, I want to blow the shofar to praise God, for it is written in Psalms 153, and to sound the alarm to announce the coming of God's judgments to the world. For it is written in Numbers 10, 9 and Joel 2, 1. God wants everyone from young and old to know His truth. Do you know what God's truth is? I pray that it would help you in knowing what God's truth is. Plus, you should go to God's Word, the Tanakh, the Torah, and to the Bible, and let God show you more of His truth. As it is written in John 8:32, And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Psalms 100, verse 5, for the Lord is good, His mercies is everlasting, and His truth endureth for all generations. Psalms 119, 151 Thou art near, O Lord, and thou all thy commandments are truth. Proverbs 12, 17 He that speaketh truth soweth forth righteousness. This is my heart to speak the truth to you to teach you what God has laid on my heart about his truth because we are all need to know what God's truth is we are all we are living in the last days and time is running very short right now so we must all get closer to God Jesus Christ he is the only one who can save us. Isaiah 25, 1 O Lord, Thou art my God. I will exalt Thee. I will praise Thy name, for Thou hast done wonderful things. Thy counsels of old are faithfulness and truth. I will praise God because he has done many wonderful things for me, such as he has saved my life from death many times. He has given me hundreds of dreams that have already come to pass already. I was shown as a child that one day I would be in the ministry, even though I sent myself down another path. God brought me back into the ministry. Now I am looking forward to serving Him on a full-time basis now. Because of His ways, because His ways are truth to my destiny. I want you to see something. If you follow God and do what He asks you, things would be much easier in life. I know this from experience. If I were to listen to the Lord's still small voice, I could have avoided a lot of heartache in my life. Because of the trouble I have put myself into, I wish I had listened to that still small voice. I will praise the Lord God for His ways and for His truth. For if we do not listen to the Lord, we will end up in hell. And that's one place I don't want to be in. Neither do you. Isaiah 38, 18 For the grave cannot praise thee, death cannot celebrate thee. They that go down into the pit cannot hope for thy truth. Now take a good look at your life. Did you always 
do what God asked you to do? No, you didn't either. Well, we are getting older these days, and we all know that we are living in the last days. So it would be wise if we started listening to God. Jeremiah 4.2 And thou shalt swear, The Lord liveth in truth, in judgment, and in righteousness. And all the nations shall be blessed, shall bless themselves in him, and in him they shall glory. Now look around the world now, and see the nations of the world. They are not listening to God. They are not following his truth anymore. A lot of people are not in righteousness anymore. So this is why God is now bringing his judgment. So please get closer to God now while you still have time. Jeremiah 7:28 But thou shalt say unto them, This is a nation that obeyeth not the voice of the Lord their God, nor receiveth correction. Truth is punished and is cut off from thy mouth. Jeremiah 9, 3 And they bend their tongues like their bow for lies. They, but they are not valiant for the truth upon the earth. For they proceed from evil to evil, and they knoweth not me, saith the Lord. Jeremiah 9, 5 for they will deceive every one his neighbor, and will not speak the truth. They have taught their tongues to speak lies, and worry themselves to commit iniquity. Daniel 9.13 As it is written in the law of Moses, All his evil is come upon us, yet made we not our prayer before the Lord our God that we might turn from our iniquities and understand thy truth. Zechariah 8.16 These are the things that ye shall do. Speak ye every man the truth to his neighbor. Execute the judgment of truth and peace in your gates. John 3.21 But he that do but he that doeth truth cometh to the light, and his deeds made manifest. See, there's still hope for you. If you change your ways and follow the Lord your God. In the next few days, I will be adding the 224 verses of God's truth for you to see on my website and how you can print them off so you can study them yourself. Lord, bless each and every one who has tuned in today to listen to your word. Show them more of your truth and lead us all in your ways, O Lord, for you are great. You are the great I am. Until next time, may God bless you all.